In a galaxy far, far away, literally, NASA astronomers have discovered the most distant black hole yet seen in X-rays, not using one, but two powerful telescopes. NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and the James Webb Space Telescope found this massive black hole hidden among a galaxy cluster more than 3 billion light years away from Earth. Scientists predict it formed 470 million light years after the Big Bang. This discovery is not only record-breaking considering how far the black hole is, but could help astronomers understand more about how our universe was formed. Astrophysicist Paul Sutter joins me now. Paul, let's start off with, with the big science question here. What is a black hole? Uh, a black hole is a region of the universe that it has such strong gravity, where the gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. So things can fall in, but nothing can come out. So how did they find this particular black hole, and how does it help scientists understand black holes better? What are they learning from this? Yes, as you might imagine, it's kind of hard to take pictures of black holes because, you know, they don't emit light. But what we do see is the material surrounding a black hole. As it falls into the black hole, it crams together, it heats up, and it emits an enormous amount of light. In fact, sometimes these objects that surround a black hole are the brightest things in the universe, and this is what allows us to see them at these great distances. And we are looking for the formation of the first black holes to appear in the universe to help us learn how black holes form and evolve, how galaxies form and evolve, and how those two are connected. These pictures are really just beautiful and just so much fun to look at. The concept of time and space is so mind-boggling. These images that we're seeing are billions of light years away. How do astronomers determine when phenomenons like this in space even happened? Oh, that's a wonderful question. So our universe is expanding. It's getting bigger and bigger every day. And that means when this object, this black hole or the stuff around the black hole emitted light, that light traveled across the universe on its way to our telescopes. But as it traveled, the universe expanded and it stretched out the light. So we can measure how much that light is getting stretched out and use that to calculate a distance and an age to the object. And Paul, I, I, as I said, I think the pictures are so cool. What is the most fascinating part of this discovery for you? What stands out to you the most? What we are learning with the James Webb is that giant black holes, and these things are massive. Most black holes are only a few miles across. This thing could engulf the entire solar system. These giant black holes are appearing very early in the history of the universe, about when stars and galaxies themselves are first getting going. And we actually don't fully understand how such giant black holes can appear so early. So this, this is wonderful. This is why we built the James Webb to investigate mysteries exactly like this. All right. New discoveries every day. Paul Sutter, thank you so much. The Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.